guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Reeves Subaru in Tampa, Florida. And guess what? We have a very, very special car. This is a 2016 Cadillac ATS-V. But before we dive into this V-Series car, let's talk a little bit about what's going on with the ATS. So the ATS-V they produced from 2016, so this is the first year, all the way up to 2019. It has now been replaced by the CT4 and CT4V. One thing is for certain, with this ATS-V, even though it was produced for a short amount of time, just like its bigger brother, the Cadillac CTS-V, we're talking about tons of extra performance, not only underneath the hood from a twin turbo V6, but also suspension, wheels, brakes, and even some extra sexy bodywork. When we look at this ATS-V, it really is the pinnacle of performance from Cadillac for this particular vehicle. So let's go ahead, dive in and find out, is it the ultimate in a smaller luxury sport style car that has real wheel drive performance and that extra horsepower touch? Right off the bat, I love the lines. I love the dimensions and guess what? Even better news, this is a two-door coupe. You can get it in a four-door sports sedan, but we are lucky enough to have the two-door coupe. Love the white. Now, at the front of the business, on the ATS-V, I really felt just like on the Bigger Brother styling, really like the unique style of the headlight. You have that projector beam LED, a little bit of silver. I wish they would have blacked out the whole headlight housing because this is such a high performance sport model, but really just so unique with their headlight design that from a mile away, you know it's a Cadillac. When you drop down, you got a little bit of gloss black and guess what? Full functional corner air intakes. Look at what we're doing with aerodynamics. You can see how they flared out the fender and brought it nicely into the front splitter. So all of this style also generates downforce and gives us extra performance. We come across the V series grill. So when you're looking at a Cadillac, if you can't see if it has the V series badge, this is the style grill that no matter what V series car it has, it's this nice, almost like a wire mesh design with the bright silver finish around the perimeter. The one zonk though, what is going on here? This looks cool having this area that looks like a, a ram air scoop, but it's not. It's actually fake, it's blocked off. So that's gonna be a zonk. But as we drop down, a little bit of gloss black, more of that V-series gr grill, and you can see just how far that splitter extends. It's gonna give us downforce, and it's gonna help scoop air into the radiator. Now remember, this Cadillac is all about not only straight line performance, but also handling as well. And that's what that front end of the business is gonna give us. Now, when we get up onto the hood, some carbon fiber sexiness. We have a carbon fiber heat extractor, so cold air comes in, hot air comes out. I love all the sharp lines. You know, Cadillac must have worked with the Air Force when they were designing the Stealth Fighter because very angular lines, very sharp lines. And I really think it shows that American luxury sport performance extremely well, especially with this pearl white. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? This is specific to the ATS-V. So you can see that we have an 18 inch wheel, machined aluminum, really like the design with some gunmetal gray. Look at the size of those calipers. You have six piston Brembo calipers, nice dark cherry. So if you like like dark cherry soda, dark cherry caliper, gonna squeeze that two piece rotor, aluminum hat, with the steel ventilated rotor is gonna help shed speed off this ATS-V like a Husky sheds hair. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this? You're looking at 255 on the width up front and a very slim 35 series sidewall. Behind each of the fenders, you're gonna have that magnetic ride suspension. It's gonna read the road every nanosecond to give you optimum performance. And then of course, on a V-Series car, it's been bumped up for track duty. Uh, to really give you the best handling. Now, as we go into the fender, I love very nice sharp line. Go down the side, you have your V-Series badge, just like the Cadillac logo. The V-Series badge has so much history behind it when it comes to Cadillac performance. And believe it or not, Cadillac has been doing the business in the IMSA WeatherTech series. The pearlescent white on the mirror caps, a little bit of gloss black. Look at the way that lower side, so normally this side sill extension comes out pretty far. They added the extra gloss black to help tie it in with the gloss black on the front. And that is aerodynamically useful and purposeful. 
color matched on the door handles, no sunroof or anything to speak of. I really love the way they do the quarter window and the door glass all makes it look like one piece, no big thick uh, divider there. We come towards the rear, you can see the belt line kind of flares out a little bit. Now, when we look at the back end of the business here, this is a real wheel drive car. So rear wheels are a little bit wider, 275 on the width, still a 35 series sidewall, but 275. And you can see nice large calipers even out back. Now, speaking of out back, this one has a massive trunk lid spoiler. Look at the height off of that. I mean, it just has a nice kickback. This is gonna give you downforce. And then just like up front, I love the nice waterfall design, full LED taillight. You got your V-Series badge, that classic Cadillac, Cadillac logo, ATS. And then we drop down a little bit of that bright silver like that's around the V-Series grill. And then check it out. We have a carbon, just like the carbon fiber heat extractor, we got more carbon fiber goodness spilled back here in this rear diffuser. You're gonna have that active exhaust so you could make it quiet, depending on what mode you're in or put it into track mode and just let that twin turbo V6 sing. Really, really clean look. Speaking of the power, let's pop the hood and see the heart of this ATS-V. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. You do have hydraulic hood struts. You can see the functionality of that heat extractor on the underside of the hood. Looking underneath the hood, not the sexiest of engine covers. So I am going to zonk that engine cover, even though it has the V-Series badge, looks like a lid. I don't know what it is with General Motors and trash can lids but they must have hired somebody from uh, Tupperware or somebody um, that worked with either Tupperware containers or trash can lids. But underneath that lid with the V-Series badge, you're looking at a 3.6 liter V6 twin turbocharged engine, 464 horsepower, 445 pound-feet of torque. It's a super lucky day for you and I, because guess what? This one has the six-speed manual. You can get it with an automatic. Zero to 60, if you know how to dance on your twinkle toes, zero to 60 in about four seconds, quarter mile in 12.1 at 122 miles an hour. Top speed, I hope you're sitting down for this one, 185 miles an hour. Listen to this stat, zero to 100 in 9.9 .9 seconds. It could do over a G worth of handling on your favorite road course. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much does this weigh? 3,760 pounds. MPG 16 in the city, 24 on the highway. Listen to some of the tech. Launch control, no lift shift, automatic rev match downshifting, and like I pointed out earlier, you have that magnetic ride suspension. You can even see, look at the strut tower bracing that they have on each side to help stiffen up the front end of the business on this ATSV. But why don't we go ahead, looking at it, it's cool, makes me want to take out the trash, but why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside this twenty sixteen. Cadillac ATSV, the first year. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I don't like the CT4V. Uh, it's not a true V series car yet. I know they're gonna come out with a faster one, but I always wanted one of these ATSVs. How much is this one? Well, you're looking at the car has 33,700 miles. Price, they have it marked here at Reeves, right around $37,000. This car brand new, was $74,000. So that's the type of performance that you're getting with the ATSV when it comes to your dollars. To the door panel. Up top, you have the Alcantara and the leather with the nice stitching. Some faux carbon fiber. I wish it was real carbon fiber, but it's faux carbon fiber. You have some darker chrome treatment. And then a nice long armrest, fairly soft, a door pocket large enough for two Whopper Juniors. I would not put a Whopper in there because you're gonna squeeze beef and cheese all over the place. It does have the Bose sound system. Come to the dash. Alcantara has been brought to the dash. The faux carbon fiber, so I am zonking this. ATSV, $74,000 should have real carbon fiber. Then we get to the 
Q system, the infotainment system that's unique to Cadillac, that's an eight inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You could go into your climate controls. It's very fast reacting. It's just a lot of people don't love it. There's your other controls um, to get back to home. You just hit your home button. It's weird because there's these metal pieces here. They look like buttons, but it's like you hit above it, which is kind of weird. Let me go ahead and throw it into reverse. You get a large chime, very, very dated on the camera. Looks like I'm back in 1988 playing Space Invaders or something, but you do have trajectory, which is great. And I have that six speed. Now watch this. You wanna see something cool? You got your AC controls, heated seats, no ventilated seats. They integrated the start stop button really nicely, but it's real cheap looking. I do like the soft material though. Watch this. You have your secret compartment. You touch there, opens up, you have uh, your USB, you can slide your phone in there very easily, and then you just close it back up very nicely. So it's got that James Bond effect in here, which I'm really digging. Open up this door, you got a little tiny cubby, maybe for some Tootsie Rolls and a 12 volt, nicely placed. And then, you know how your parents have that room, they tell you to knock twice before you open up the door where the magic happens? This is where the magic happens in this ATSV. Nice six speed, slick shifting, great engagement. And I really like the way it centers nicely. Looks great. You have your mode selector buttons, which will put, uh, put us into different modes. And I'll show you when you come to the business end. Your standard Cadillac key fob. You got remote trunk operation, two cup holders. I like the trim. Armrest is fairly soft. We lift it up and guess what? You got felt lining. You could fill that up with Skittles. Not gonna scratch the color off. Two USBs and a little slot for some really small Slim Jims. Close that up. Here's the other place where the magic happens. Look at these beautiful Recaros. I love all the stitch work, nice bolstering. So this is really gonna hold you in place, allow you to do that track day, allow you to you know, do the twisty bits by your house. Looking back at the seat, I like the way they took the V-Series badge. And even the silver here is great, and there's the Recaro name in there. So they are heated, not ventilated. And as you can see, even with the mileage, they've worn very nicely over time. Plenty of headroom in here. So think about it, you go do your track day, you gotta have a helmet, put your helmet on, still got plenty of room. Why don't you come over to the business end though? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this ATSV. All right guys, here we are, business time. You do have two memory seat settings. I like the V-Series badging on the sill, beautiful silver aluminum treatment. You have your three happy pedals, especially with that clutch. A smaller dead pedal, I wish the dead pedal was a little larger and I wish they would have put some nice brushed aluminum pedals or something like that. They're just your regular flat black rubber kind, but you do have your seat controls. You can see the bolstering. I'm six feet tall, I got plenty of room. I feel like I'm being hugged perfectly. Steering wheel is a little bit of a zonk for me. I like the thickness. It's just, it's not flat bottom. They did give you a V-Series badge, but this gloss black just does not fit the part and really the horn button. I know I'm being picky, but the horn button's not sexy. I do like the Cadillac logo though. Dash, simple, straightforward, it makes sense. So you have your tech far left, you have your speedometer right there up top, you have a small digital display, and then you have fuel and coolant, and you have a head up display, which is really great. But overall, I feel like I'm ready to rock and roll. Remember, this, even though it's a two door, does have back seats. For you, I'm gonna do it. Let's go ahead, see how nice the back seat is in a two door Cadillac ATSV. All right, guys, time to get in the back seat just for you. Now, what's nice is, is you do have seat operation controls right at the top to slide this forward, because remember, it is a power seat. Uh, I guess the thing is, you could go up or over. So I'm gonna go, uh, or I should say up or under. I'm gonna go under, we'll squeeze on back here. There we go. And you know what? For a six foot tall person, Yes, I'm kind of having to lean over a little bit, but the great news is, is that besides that, I got plenty of room. They give you two cup holders here, and you do have leather and Alcantara. I'm gonna have Victor kind of swing around the camera and show that you have Alcantara down the whole back of the seat. One piece back, small little pocket. This is where you're gonna have your passengers keep the pink slips. After you race people and take their cars from them, they could keep the pink slips in there for you so that you could organize where you're gonna park all those cars. But why don't we check out the trunk and see how much room you have in the ATSV. All right guys, trunk time. How usable is this ATSV? So there's no electric assist, but the good news is this is ultra light. Open it up, look how usable it is. Now the good news is it's not very deep, 
but the good news is that it's very wide. The opening is very wide. Now, if you want to know how much space do we have, 10 cubic feet of space. The seats could do the 60-40 split for you to where you could get longer objects. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's under this plastic lid here? That's where the battery is. They actually take the battery, mount it out back to try to help with the weight distribution of this being a front engine performance car. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this V-Series car for a spin. All right, guys, we left Reeve Subaru. We're in the 2016 Cadillac ATS-V. Really nice feeling being behind the wheel of this car. Finally, I've been able to drive one of these. I've been, I've driven the CTS-V many a time, have not had the chance to get into one of these and really just very thankful for LD giving me the buzz to let me know that this car was in. But visibility out the front is great. Out the back, very clean. You see a little bit of that kick-up spoiler. The Recaros, they're, they're a little on the tighter side. Uh, actually, a little bit more so than maybe a Shelby GT350 Recaro. Uh, just something to think about, but definitely not a vice grip like my old Ford Focus RS. Dash is easy to read. You got the speedometer at the top. It would have been nice. I am going to zonk that because it would have been nice to have the tack smack dab in the center there. Um, but really, really super smooth and real easy to shift. Clutch pickup point is really great in it. And what's nice too is, is that overall you're getting a great layout of all the controls. Even though the Q system is a little dated, you're actually, um, and I'm just gonna pull in the spot real quick, you're actually uh, able to get to everything very easily. I just wish that it had ventilated seats um, the head-up display is very nice, so that's a, a, a nice touch. But why don't we go ahead, I want to see how this car handles. We're going to find a couple twisty bits to go down and see how this ATS-V performs. All right, guys, here we go. On throttle, performance. I'm going to start, let, let's start from a dead stop, shall we? See how she handles. Remember, rear wheel, rear wheel drive, on throttle, here we go. Traction control doing its thing. Second gear, feeling good. Third gear on the brakes, those massive Brembos. Look at this, nice, handles so well. Great feedback coming to the wheel. Look at this, back on throttle. You're not wasting, you're not wasting time waiting for that boost, that's for sure. The way the clutch engagement is, it's really, really um, crisp. And what's nice is, is that the pickup point is near the mid, like the middle of the of the travel of the clutch pedal. So it's not like an on off switch. It really is easy to modulate and balance. The connected feeling that you have with the steering wheel to the front wheels is really, really great. I, I, I think that they got the handling down awesome. The automatic rev match downshifting is great. The gear indicator is very, very small. I wish they would have done something a little different with that. Uh, but boy, the, the actual shifter itself is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even over the rough stuff, the magnetic rise suspension just makes everything super smooth as you're going over the bumps and little divots of the road. So this is a vehicle. You don't need a pool table smoothness to the road to actually enjoy. All right, guys, I changed the head-up display to show the tech. Still, the gear indicator is so small on it. I wish that they would make it a little bit larger. But let's go ahead one more time, go through the twisty bits. On throttle, here we go. Yeah, a little bit sideways on the brakes. Brake pedal's amazing. Here we go. Yeah, look how she grips. I love it. Coming out of the corner. Nice. It just shows that Cadillac can do it. And I'm hoping that whatever vehicle, that black wing that they bring soon to the CT4 platform, I hope it has this magic because I'm telling you right now, the CT4V, this dev obviously drives better. It's quicker, it's got more power. Uh, it's just all around a real V series car. All right guys, here we go, on throttle, yeah! Woohoo! On the brakes.
love how the car handles. It really communicates well, and this is a great shifting transmission. It really, really is. It feels good going through each gate and just overall the layout. It's just the Q system. There's a lot of gloss black. That to me is a, is a zonk, but uh, it does have an eight inch screen. And overall it's fairly, I find it fairly simple to navigate through. Um, but while we go ahead, let's get this on the highway and see how the ATSB rides going down that big long stretch of road. All right guys, here we go on throttle. Nice, super clear. Let her rip on throttle, here we go. Wow, it gets up to speed fast. It really, really does. It's almost like deceptively quick. That's how quick it is. But getting out onto the highway, let's see how that magnetic ride suspension handles the bumps of the expansion joints. I'm telling you, the twin turbos, the torque down low, it's impressive, it really, really is. On throttle, here we go. Wow, you feel it, you really, really do. Let me get over a lane here. Here we go. Love the sound in the cabin. And I'm telling you right now, going over the expansion joints, it's really not that big of a deal. And remember, I have it in sport mode, so the suspension is doing a great job in the twisty bits, but also out on the highway where you're getting a, a nice ride. I mean, is it like super smooth? No, but it's livable and enjoyable. I'll tell you that right now, your kidneys, you're not gonna need a kidney replacement anytime soon, so that's good news. Let me slow down a little bit one last time just for you guys. Wow, here we go, boost builds. Wow, she moves. No joke, this car moves. And it really is a special car that they're not making anymore, the ATSV. But we're gonna get back to Reese Subaru and wrap this one up, so I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful day. Here at Reeves Subaru, I definitely got to thank LD and the rest of the crew, Jerry, getting us access to this freshly traded in 2016 Cadillac ATS-V. This is your chance. If you want one of these, you've searched. You look on the World Wide Web, the internet, you've looked for these. They're hard to find. This one, it's got great mileage. The color is perfect, and the way it drives is just leaves a smile on your face and being able to row through your own gears, there's really no other feeling that, that comes to it. So if you want one of these, here it is. Is it really that small luxury sport coupe to go after? I think for the performance and for the, the money, I think it checks off all the boxes. But if it's cars like these, this 2016 ATS-V that you like to see on Ready's Rise, if you wanna see more of that, Leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to get it out to Victor. He may love BMWs, but this Cadillac put a smile on his face. So see, Victor, there are other cars out there besides BMWs that can make you smile. Thank you for your hard work, by the way. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.